Welcome back to the Lexus project. It's been a while, hasn't it? But I've been saving up for some parts. And here we have some very expensive, I've got to say, genuine Lexus bits of paper. There is stuff in here. Look at this. Yes. Rear upper arms. Very cheap. Well, no, they're not. They're not cheap. They're not cheap at all. There's £430 worth of two arms here. So these need to last 25 years, I've got to say. Now remember, these are for a, a UCF 20. So, um, a 90... Five to 2000 I think they're the same for the face of Mark 2's and what we're seeing here these ball joints are replaceable in these arms just I've got to change my arms because the because of corrosion they've, they've literally rusted away around where the bushes um, sit and looking at these the metal is not very thick in that area but there you can see the snap ring which goes to prove that these ball joints can be replaced which is good I've never actually seen a brand new rear upper arm for an LS400 so <clears throat> what can you say expensive and I'm gonna I'm gonna coat these paint them and make sure that they never ever rust ever that's got to be my plan bushes I've got poly bushes to put in these but I'm not gonna fit the poly bushes in these arms because I just I can't seem to justify it they're brand new so yeah look at that did you see that did you spot the ginger in there already rust these are brand new Rust. Come on Toyota, what are you playing at? Look at that. So that's something that I need to address before anything. Yeah, it's, it's from the welds, look. You can see what's gone on. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna put some acid in there and try and neutralize that rust. And then um, I'm gonna epoxy prime them and then paint them and then wax oil them to death. Oh, I've missed driving this. It's very sad to see it not moving. In the meantime, I've got to drive this shitbox daily. Full of beige, I've put seat covers on it. And then there's this little yellow, little yellow beastie is kind of like a bit of a, a mobile shed at the minute with just stuff in it but you know that's what you do it's what you've got cars you need to fill them up with stuff must get around to swapping that steering wheel over to the state of it Even with half the rear interior stripped out, it's still pretty quiet in here. Just a little squeak of the brakes. And with the magic of television, we go from the drive to the workshop. Well, I hadn't told you ever. I've had a move round. 
we'll move the Civic over here. It's got it back up in the air again so I can carry on working on it. But uh, we've moved the Alpha from over there and we've just wedged it into this doorway. So, so now it's even more crowded down, uh, down here. So I've just got the three cars in there and four, five cars in here. But I'm not one for just get doing one project and getting it finished because, you know, where's the fun in that? <laughs> so, so I've brought this in into here. Tow bar's coming off. Bumper's coming off. Subframe's coming off. We're going to have some uh, polybushed rear end. We're going to polybush the back. We've got hard race. We've got BC racing. We've got some light on in there. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot to do on this. She still looks good. Filthy. But still looking good. I mean, we've got some, we've got some, we've got some work to do. We've got some work to do there. Needs sorting out. I don't know if I'll be able to get the screen out to do this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want it off the road that long, to be fair, because I miss it and I like driving it. Got no rear seats. We've got, we've got these wheels, and if we're going BC coilovers, we might put the 275s back on the back. Top we have BC racing coilovers. In the center we have two sets of uh, rear arms, a pair of genuine Rear upper arms, some bushes for her axle carrier. I think they've got axle carrier bushes, and then we have some uh, lower control arm inner and outer bushes. Then we have diff carrier bushes. Subframe bushes. There may or may not be nearly two grand's worth of stuff there. A few hours of toiling later and the rear subframe's off. Uh, rear shock absorbers are off. They're Bilsteins, they are. They're only about five year old. Just filthy. And then I've been round it with some WD-40 because this stuff's not been apart for a while. Yeah, that's that's rust bullet, the silver stuff there. With all the cutting and welding that's gone into making the wide arch stuff. I think I need some new brake flexes as well while I'm in there. But yeah, it's holding up pretty well. Even underneath. This is all going to get cleaned up and all redone again with the acid. A bit like I've done with the Civic. Let's go around it and neutralise all the rusty bits. One week later. The rear axle is off and it is at home. So I can work on it at my leisure. And it's warmer. So basically I'm just going to strip this down, clean it up, paint it, get these bushes out, that's going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, and put it back together with all the new goodness that's going back in it. Um, I'm just uh, kind of just going around and doing everything square and it's been soaked in WD-40 for about a week 
itself. And it, it's been it was mostly stripped down uh, a couple of years ago when I did it. I put another arm on for the MOT. But this time we've got diff bushes, we've got everything. It's going to be good. Everything that would come off easy is off. Just the two arms that go into the hub carriers seized solid. And the hubs are off one and two. Need some new handbrake cables as well. The diff is out. The subframe is almost bare. Bar those. Two little stubborn. bolts that are seized into the inserts. So you have to cut those off. Uh, luckily I have the new ones to go on. So I won't need to use the bolts that came out of them. Well most of the subframe bushes are now out. There's just one that's giving me a little bit of jip. You know, it's getting there now. We've already relieved the diff of its bush. Bush, just these two to get on with. And all the bushes are out, and then I can send this off to be blasted. I didn't film any of this because I was losing the will to live. Never in my life have I struggled so much getting some bushes out. Thankfully these were much easier to get out. Next episode, it'll all be going back together all nice, clean and shiny and new. Please join me then.